You're very welcome back to the six o'clock show. Now let's head to Waterford, where Ashling Larkin has the perfect recipe to celebrate our Paddy's Day. Right, Ashley, where do we get started? Oh, guys, you were brilliant. Your performance was amazing. Oh. Absolutely. She was brilliant. She was no. brilliant. Oh my God. <laughs> Oh. Flop switch. Okay, let me tell you about my St. Patrick's Day Irish trifle. We're going to start with the chocolate stout mousse. So what I've done is I've melted 250 grams of dark chocolate, 50 grams of butter is in there, and into that I'm going to add 50 grams of brown sugar, and then I'm going to add in three egg yolks, okay? So this is going to make this kind of thick, fudgy, ganache base to the chocolate mousse. Um, and then next up goes my stout. So I am using 100 ml of a stout. And this is actually a local Dungarvan stout. So it's really, really lovely. Mm. And the stout complements the chocolate really well. And you do have to use a dark chocolate for the mousse. But the, the stout already kind of has these notes of chocolate in it. So when you combine it, it's really, really lovely. And the little bit of brown sugar just brings out that... Oh, the smell, I swear, guys. Smell. You're only putting a small little drop of the stout in, are you? Is... Only, a, only a small drop in, I think. 100 mils. Oh, right, OK. Not a so lot. say now, if you, yeah. if you don't drink then, uh, with that, when you cook it, is, is the alcohol still in it? This isn't being cooked, so it's going to set to the alcohol still is in it. Yeah, oh, so OK, you totally all right. leave it out. To do it, like a one for kids or whatever, just leave it out. And oh, OK, you leave it, you can leave it out. Loop. Yes, so the next ingredient then is cream. So I've whipped up 150 grams of lovely Irish cream and that needs to be folded in, okay? okay? So this is the important part about the mousse. You have to fold in the cream. So you've got to kind of work quickly but lightly um, and that kind of gives us, it still brings that lovely creamy texture to it. Then next into that, to give the mousse its lovely lightness, you're going to add the egg white. So I separate the eggs and the yolks have already gone in. And then what I've done is I've whisked up three yeah. egg, egg whites in here. And then that gives it that incredible light fluffiness. You can see they're almost like clouds going in. Mm. And the, this part is so important that you're basically folding them in again. And you have to stay at it until all of that, like the white chocolate, um, the egg whites are all totally, totally disappeared. So if I was doing this off air, it, I'd take like just maybe a minute or two longer to okay. do it to combine everything. But that's, that's the mousse on it. So we've got the stout. And then into the base of the glass, we're going to start layering this and building this up a little bit. So that's the mousse done. Next up then is the Irish cream liqueur topping that's going to go on top. So again, I whipped up just a little bit of Irish cream. And into that, I'm going to put an Irish cream liqueur. So about 50 ml going in there. So again, it's not heavy handed <laughs> on one particular alcohol. But there is three different types of alcohol in this. <laughs> right, it all adds up, I suppose, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So there's a little, little bit of everything. And look, for somebody like me, you know, TV cook and us, like, we have a world stage this week to showcase amazing Irish producers and Irish food. And it's lovely to do a recipe like this that kind of showcases lovely mm. ingredients like that. Absolutely. So, and there's so many distilleries and breweries up and down the country and a small little artisan places doing their, their drinks and that kind of thing. Worth noting as well, do drink responsibly if you're having a drink, particularly over Paddy's weekend. Uh, it's probably worth noting. But uh, absolutely, all these flavours are fantastic going into the dessert. And all of these components can be made without the alcohol, obviously, as well. Mm. Just, they can go either way. So into the bottom, I have a chocolate brownie. And um, next up then, we're going to layer in the chocolate mousse. So that goes in next. And then what you want to do is let the mousse set for about six hours. And you can do this and have like one or the other component. You don't have to make all of them. You just have, we'll say the brownie and the salt and caramel whiskey sauce, or you could just have the mousse with the mm. Irish liqueur topping. So I've got my brownie on the bottom. I've got my chocolate stout mousse. Then I have this beautiful... Whiskey, oh. salt, and caramel Look sauce. At that. I'm going to do oh. a layer of that in there. Where did you I'm get that? Is that? Did you make that, that one earlier on? The caramel. I made that, Una, yeah, yeah. And the recipe is up on the, okay. on the Facebook page and my Instagram as well. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. it's beautiful. It's literally sugar, water, a little bit of butter and cream, and then the whiskey and the Irish sea salt goes okay. in as well. Yeah. This is the Irish cream liqueur topping that goes on top. Mm -hmm. and just spread that around. So you can see kind of the layers like the trifle yeah. um, that are starting to build up. I've got my lovely chocolate flake going on next. And then to finish, we're going to garnish it with some lovely little Irish shamrock. And that is it. 
So I know there's lots of different steps to this one. And I, like I said, I have all of the recipes up on my Instagram for this and the techniques, but it's just, it's so decadent and yeah. so delicious. How are you? The it's, size it's of that thing. Who, how many people is that for? Is that for, for one? You know what? <laughs> <laughs> I actually did this to show you, right? All right, exactly. Okay. You can go it's either way. Up. You can do a little mini one, yeah. or you can do kind of this size one. So, uh, yes, yeah, this is this is quite a big one, but you can totally do, like, you can stretch <laughs> it out into like, little mini ones. This sort of really like, um, as well. just eating and drinking in it, as they say. There's, like, yeah. There sure is. Absolutely. <laughs> Yeah. And so you're staying in, you're, it's not like you're going out, you're staying in. Yeah. Um, it, are, are you setting that then? Do you need to put it in the fridge or what happens next? Or do you just leave it? What's the story? Yeah, so when it gets to this stage, when you've got the chocolate mousse made, you basically pop this in the fridge for about six hours or overnight at okay. best. Mm. And then you start layering on your salted caramel crispy sauce and you do your Irish cream liqueur topping then. So I would just put the topping on, the creamy topping on, just before you serve it out. But the mousse can be made a day in advance, two days in advance as well. So it's really, really lovely. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, worth, worth, worth noting that you can you can do as much preparation as you like uh, the day before and then the last minute then throw the last or the second half on it on top of it. Totally. And that brownie recipe that I showed you, like that, I know I've done it on the show before, but it's, it's like the most mm. classic only brownie recipe you've ever made. And you guys know I've been doing the cook-along since like the start of lockdown. And my little girl surprised me for Mother's Day and they did a secret Cook along without oh. me. <laughs> it's up on my Instagram. It is the cutest thing. And they made those brownies. They're actually the brownies that they made for me that are going to the bottom oh, of the that's, that's, really that's lovely. so cute. Uh, Ashley, oh. it looks gorgeous. It's on a do Google for six seats. You'll find it on there. Ashley Larkin looks absolutely fantastic. Happy Paddy's yeah, Day, happy Ashley. Happy Day. Cheers. Cheers. Long Cheers. Guys. Long Happy Paddy's Day. Launch it with the desserts, ah, lads. Yeah. We're, 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 we're going wild. Uh,